Welcome to a special edition of the Mohawk Minute. Today, we're on site at the Whitfield Dalton Daycare Center, where we're kicking off our 2017 United Way campaign. Let's go inside where we'll hear it from some of our 2017 United Way Steering Committee and see what's going on. Hi, I'm Andrew, 2017 United Way Campaign Leader. At Mohawk, we believe in better. Better for our associates, better for our customers, better for our environment, and better for our communities. Our annual United Way campaign is now underway. Last year, over 40% of you contributed to our annual campaign. We raised $1.2 million in pledges. This year, we have a goal of 60% participation and $1.34 million. You have the opportunity to make your community better for the people who live here and better for the people who work here. Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm part of the 2017 Mohawk United Way Steering Committee campaign. Donations support many partner agencies such as American Red Cross, Salvation Army, Boys and Girls Club, local shelters, and daycare centers just like the one we're visiting here today. Your donations help many friends, neighbors, co-workers, and in fact, just last year in Northwest Georgia, more than 600 Mohawk employees have benefited from partner agencies here. Hi, I'm Jamie, and I've been involved with the United Way for several years. In fact, I'm on the board of directors for the United Way of Northwest Georgia. When we visited the Dalton Whitfield Daycare Center, one thing that strikes me is the number of Mohawk employees in their orange safety shirts that are dropping off their children. That made an impact on me, knowing they could come to work and make a great product and have a peace of mind that their children are being taken care of. United Way means a lot to me because I've had the privilege over the last two years to be a part of something greater than myself. When I was a teenager, I had the opportunity to work at a facility that was a day rehab for special education adults. Um, and when I did that, it really touched my heart. Um, and so ever since then, I've always tried to do what I could to give back to the community in which I live because not everyone is able to do that. And some of us are more fortunate than others. And so if we can do that, I try my hardest to give back. Thanks for your support. Believe in better. 